So what percentages should you be aiming for? So I follow the business model of 50 to 55% goes to payroll, okay? And that's fully loaded. So that's with the taxes and your workers' comp and all of that stuff. That's fully loaded payroll, okay? Now my girls make 40% and I charge $40 an hour. So just to tangent into that real quick, if you're wondering how much you should pay your cleaners, you should typically pay them at least twice whatever your minimum wage is. That will help you immensely with your employee retention. Uh, you're not going to have an easy time keeping cleaners whenever they're making minimum wage or just above it because it's such a physically demanding job and they're not going to think it's worth it. So I do not have employee issues like at all because they make 16, if you break that down, that 40% of $40 an hour is $16 an hour. Now they're percentage, so they really make like up to 20 bucks an hour if they're, if they're hustling. So that's nice. Um, our minimum wage is 7.75 or I think it just went up to eight. But anyways, they are super happy with what they make and we don't have any issues with uh, employee churn really. So, um, okay, so percentages. So 50 to 55% should go to payroll fully loaded. 15 to 20% should go to overhead. So what is overhead? That is all of your bills for your business. So that's your software costs, that's your, if you have an office, that's your rent, that's your lights, that's your, um, uh, your supplies, your cleaning supplies, your office supplies. That is if you have office staff, if you've got an actual admin person or, or like an operations manager or something, that's overhead, okay? So all of that is overhead. All of the bills that are associated with your business is overhead minus the marketing cost. So the marketing is actually a separate percentage and that should be at least 10% of your business if you're trying to grow, okay? So 10% should go to marketing. That is going to be your, uh, you know, the cost of obviously all your marketing. So any of your printed materials, any of your, um, like in, if you have Infusionsoft or MailChimp or any of those marketing softwares, those are marketing costs. If you have um, t-shirts, stuff like that that you wanna go out, you kinda put that in either really, but you could put t-shirts in overhead or marketing. If you've got your logo and your phone number and everything on them, technically it's marketing too, but uh, your Chamber of Commerce membership fees, your B&I fees, all of those things, that's all marketing costs. So 10% goes to marketing which leaves 20%, which should be your salary. So your owner's salary should be 20%. Now, if you are like most people, you're probably not gonna take a salary the first year, okay? At least the first year. And that's fine, that's perfectly fine. You can put that 20% right back into the business. You can put it right back into marketing and bump it from 10% to 30% to marketing. And then you will grow a lot faster. And then that will enable you to obviously take your own paycheck uh, sooner rather than later, rather than taking like a, a super measly paycheck for longer, you know? So if you do have the ability to take uh, or to not pay yourself for at least a year, it is super helpful to grow. So um, so yeah, that's kind of the breakdown. 50 to 55% payroll, 15 to 20% overhead, 20% to you, and 10% to marketing, okay? Now, of course, you can adjust these percentages as needed, but I would definitely make sure that the the payroll percentage doesn't go much lower than that because that means that you're probably not paying enough. So, okay, do these stay the same as I grow? Do the percentages stay the same as you grow? Yes, the percentages should stay the same. However, you will have more flexibility with them as you get bigger, not really with the payroll amount. That should stay the exact same. And I would definitely say that your, your salary should stay the same, but your marketing dollars and your overhead will vary. So you're, you're gonna find that your overhead is probably going to, well, once you get like an office, that might increase a lot. Um, and, or it could even decrease because you've got, if you start buying everything in big bulk quantities, stuff like that, then you're gonna find that you're not really spending a ton in supplies and whatnot every month because you've got so much back stock kind of a thing. Um, and then your marketing, if you are at the point where you're just packed, like you're just super full up and you can't take anybody on, you might lower your marketing spend because you just physically cannot take anybody. So you're just wasting your money, like getting clients because you have to tell them no and turn them away. Um, and then you might want to put that money that you would have spent on marketing. You might want to throw that into overhead and pay for some job ads to go out. You might want to go pay for like a booth at a job fair to get more employees because obviously if you're turning away work, that means that you need employees. So you just got to kind of be flexible. And that's one of Dave Ramsey's like rules is be able to roll with the punches. So obviously finances are super important and you have to be on top of them and you have to be willing to be flexible with them.